Hey guys, Clarice here, and in the spirit of the new Wonka movie that's going to be coming out, I thought it'd be really fun to revisit the good old 1971 classic, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I grew up not really watching this one. I grew up at a time where the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory book was read to me in grade school, and then Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Tim Burton film, came out. So I was much closer. Um, I have much more of a nostalgic sense for that film, and I actually had preferred it for many years and then not until I was much much older that I actually experienced Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for the first time and since then it has been years but I absolutely loved the film I think I have only seen it that one time so long ago so I'm really looking forward to watching this again I love Gene Wilder he is definitely one of my favorite actors just of ever of all time he is part of again one of my other favorite comedies Blazing Saddles that I talk about all the time and I'm always asking if you guys want me to watch the movie to please comment down below and tell me if you want me to watch Blazing Saddles because I will gladly do that. I am super excited to check this out. And if you guys want to check out any more full-length reactions with me, I've got them all linked down below in my Patreon where I offer full-length reactions and early access to videos that you can check out. So with all of that, let's just get into it. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Cuss for Christopher. Oh, yeah. Wonka's got a new one today. What is it? This is called a scumbly umptious spot. Hmm. Who can take a sunrise? Gosh. Sprinkle it with doom. Such great music. Oh my god. The candy man can. Ah, oh, so much candy. And makes the world taste good. Little Charlie. Mm. It's the factory. You're trying to traumatize this poor kid, sir. Nobody ever comes out. Dude. <laughs> Why you gotta be creepy and hauling a bunch of knives? <laughs> Hi, everybody. The fact that that man's gonna stand up <laughs> after 20 years. Yo, if I was the other grandparents in the Bucket household, I'd be fucking pissed. Oh, that? where did you get what that? What difference does it make where he got it? Where <laughs> is he got it? It's my first payday. Aw, he bought bread for the payment. family. Here's what's left. Oh. From now on, I'm going to pay for your tobacco. No one's going to pay for it, Charlie. I'm giving it up. Come That's on, good. Man, it's only one five a day. Shoot, again, I would be pissed if I'm like, okay, we barely have money. We're trying to feed six mouths and your ass is chewing tobacco hell no 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 so good thing good thing you're quitting a loaf of bread looks like a banquet i have no right buying tobacco yes you don't you're very sweet charlie but no he don't need it he he, he don't need it you know who needs it your family the other five mouths and then suddenly about three years later the most amazing thing happened and more delicious candies were coming out than ever before. Not even Mr. Slugworth could steal them. Mm. But Grandpa, someone must be helping Mr. Wonka work the factory. Thousands must be helping him. But who? Who are they? That is the biggest mystery of them all. Oompa Loompas. Here, wait for them. Come here. What's happening? Willy Wonka's opening his factory. He's gonna let people in. Class Rick is missed. <laughs> Hidden among the countless billions of Wonka bars are five gold tickets. And to the five people who find them will come the most fabulous prize one could wish for. A lifetime supply of chocolate. Wonka bars are beginning to disappear from candy store shelves at a rate that yeah. boggles the mind. Absolutely. It's, it's a great, great Wonka marketing strategy well we in america slept augustus the first golden ticket was found in the small town of duselheim germany proud we are for the attention of the entire world focuses today right here in duselheim a community suddenly thrust into prominence by the unexpected discovery of the first Wonka mm. golden ticket it's lucky finder is the son of our most prominent pork butcher the boy's name Augustus, Augustus Gloop. Gloop. <laughs> Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket finder? Hungry. Any other feelings? Yep. Feel sorry for Wonka. It's gonna cost an unfortunate fight. Oh, it's the guy again. Anyway, it's all right, mate. After it's the guy with the scar. Happy birthday. 
Here you are, Charlie. Thank you. Hmm. It's terrific. Oh. Grandma Georgina, Grandma Josephine, and me. I did oh, the that's so sweet. Passes. And here's a little gift from Grandpa George and me. It is a Wonka. Go on, hmm. open it. Look at him Close. manifesting it. <laughs> I got it! Where? Where? Let's see it. Told you, didn't I? Oh, that's so yeah. sad. Everybody have a bite. No, no, yeah, see, like, no, that no, looks no, really no. good. It's like a fudge marshmallow cookie. That sounds so good. It kind of seemed like a moon pie, but better. Yeah. All right, where is it? Why haven't they found it? Baruka, sweetheart. I'm not a magician. She's so much. Give me time. I want it now. For five days now, the entire flipping factory's been on the job. I won't talk to you ever again. You're a rotten, mean father. You'll never give me anything I want. And I won't go to school till I have it. I got it, Mr. Stone. Wow. About time, too. I want it. It's the guy again. It's the scarred man. That's really, really weird, though. I, I, I know that there's a purpose to it, but just, like, I hate how much... Because he looks so creepy. I would not allow him that close to my children. dreams can come true. Because, folks, here she is, Miss Violet Beauregard, finder of Wonka's golden ticket number three from Miles City, Montana. Oh, my gosh. There's the guy again. While the rest of the world goes on searching, here in the Southwest, it has actually happened. That's what I said, friends. There's only one golden ticket left in the entire world. Because right here, in our own community of Marble Falls, Arizona, is lucky winner number four. Now, the name soon to be heard around the universe is Mr. Mike TV. Mike, the country wants to hear from you. The world is waiting, Mike. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. You love to watch TV, Mike? Mm. You bet. What about that golden ticket, Mike? That's what we all Hold it. Here. I want to catch this. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life's all about? Mike, would you tell us if... Wait till I get a real one. Colt 45. Pop won't let me have one yet, will you, Pop? Not till you're 12, son. <laughs> hey, it's a guy again. Okay. Four down and one to go. And somewhere around Two in there, Europe. Lucky person is two in the United States. Closer. Sucks for everyone in all of the other continents. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you wake me up, Grandpa? Is something wrong? Oh, yeah. Grandpa, that money was for tobacco. I told you, Charlie, I've given it up. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay. Hey, that's good. One ticket left. Now, let's see some of that gold. No, you do mm. it. I can't. Mm. All right. Here goes. Nope. No ticket. I'm sorry, Mrs. Curtis. Doesn't seem to be anything in his papers to give us a clue. They kidnapped my husband 12 hours ago. When are we going to hear from them? What do they want? I'll give them anything. Anything they want. <laughs> a Wonka want a golden ticket. Uh -huh. What did they ask for? Whatever it is, they can have it. They want your case of Wonka bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's your husband's life or your case of Wonka bars. Oh my gosh! How long will you give me to think it over? <laughs> that's it, that's it, it's all over. The Wonka contest is all over. The fifth and final what? ticket has been found, and we've got a live report coming in directly now from Paraguay, South what? America. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth and last golden ticket has just been found, right here in Paraguay. The finder is Lucky Alberto Mignoleta. The multi-millionaire owner of gambling casinos for our South America. The Rebels owner of sing. the gambling of casinos in South America. Little boy's got to have something in this world to hope for. What's he got to hope for now? Who's going to tell him? Hmm. Let's not wake him. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, <gasps> Charlie. I'd like a bar of chocolate, please. Yeah, hey, sure. Hmm. Now that all the tickets have been found, I don't have to hide them anymore. Hmm. Bye. Bye now. I think I'll buy just one more. For my Grandpa Joe. Sure. Aww. Why not try a regular Wonka bar this time? Fine. 
Who's it? That gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. That means there's one golden ticket still Of course. Of course he did. <laughs> it's six, but it's just the way it was said. It's like, yeah. <laughs> they didn't show the ticket or anything. And also they were like, this, this is the most recent photo of this man. It's like, what does he sound like he does shady shit? <laughs> You got it, Charlie! You got it! No, don't! Da, ba, 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 ba. People will take it! People are gonna take it! Yes, leave the boy alone! Leave him alone! People are gonna take it! People are gonna take it! People are gonna jack it! He's a little boy! Yes! Don't you show anyone! They're gonna take it! Hide that shit, Charlie. It's like a lottery ticket. You don't you don't tell anyone. Oh, it's a guy. I congratulate you, little boy. Well done. He's literally in You'll everywhere. You found the fifth golden ticket. May I introduce myself? Yes, who are you? Arthur Slugworth. Oh. President of Slugworth Chocolates Incorporated. Oh. Now listen carefully because I'm going to make you very rich indeed. Mr. Wonka is at this moment working on a fantastic invention. The everlasting gobstopper. Hmm. If he succeeds, he'll ruin me. So all I want you to do is to get hold of just one everlasting gobstopper and bring it to me so that I can find the secret formula. Your reward will be 10,000 of these. Think it over, will you? A new house for your family. And good food and comfort for the rest of their lives. Look, everyone, look, I've got it! The fifth golden ticket is mine! You're pulling our legs, Charlie. There aren't any more golden tickets. No, Grandpa, the last one of the fake it sits on the papers. I found some money in the street and I bought a Wonka bar and the ticket was in it. Charlie. Look at it, Grandpa. See for yourself. Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. Mm. You may bring with you one member of your own family, but no one mm. else. I wish you could go. Stop! It says the 1st of October, that's tomorrow. Jumping crocodiles, Charlie. We've got a lot to do. Call me your hair, wash your face, polish your shoes, I'll and brush your... I'll take care of everything, Dad. We don't have too much time. Oh, Grandpa, on the way home today, I ran into Mr. Slughorn. Mm. Hey. Honestly, yes. Anytime Gene Wilder steps foot into an audi into a stage, he should be applauded. Very nice. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to my chocolate factory. That's Slugworth. That's someone I told you about. Welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day. I hope you enjoy it. I think you will. No. Oh. And now, would you please show me your golden tickets? I'm Veruca Salt. My dear Veruca, what a pleasure. And how pretty you look in that lovely mink coat. Augustus Kluf. Augustus, my dear boy. How mm. good to see you. And in such fine shape. I'm a power guard. Darling child, welcome to Wonka's. What kind of gummy got here? Charming. Charming. Sam Beauregard here, Mr. Wonka. My dear sir, what a the genuine salesman. Pleasure. If ever you need anything in the automotive line, just call on Sam B. Phone number's on the card. With Sam B, it's a guarantee. <laughs> Very nice. I'm Mike TV. Mike. Well, oh. you're dead. Wonderful to meet you, Mike. And Mrs. <laughs> TV, how do you do? What an adorable little boy you have. Thank you. Just over there. Charlie Bucket. Well, well, Charlie Bucket. I read all about you in the papers. I'm so happy for you. And who is this gentleman? My grandfather, Grandpa Joe. Delighted to meet you, sir. Overjoyed, enraptured, entranced. Are we ready? Yes. And bye. <laughs> Little surprises <laughs> around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Now. 
Will the children kindly step out here? Floods, fire, frost, of frippery. Accident? What kind of accident? Pretty, or life or limb? And where is the damage? Oh! I can't see what it says in the bottom. Violet, you first. Sign here. Violet, baby, don't you sign anything there. What's this all about? <laughs> yeah! Standard form of contract. Don't talk to me about contracts, Wonka. I use them myself. They're strictly for suckers. Yes, but you wouldn't begrudge me a little protection. A drop. I don't sign anything without my lawyer. My broker don't sign anything either. Then she don't go in. I'm sorry, rules of the house. I want to go in. Don't you dare stop I'm me. I'm only trying to help you, sweetheart. You're always making things difficult. Nicely handled, Baruka. She's a girl who knows where she's going. <laughs> Violet. Oh, wait a minute. What's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, if you have any problems, dial information. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Augustus. <laughs> Violet. Violet. I assume there's an accident indemnity clause. Never between friends. So did the Guy signed his wife's insurance policy. Then he buffed her off. Clever. Dang. What about me, Grandpa? Fly away, Charlie. We got nothing to lose. Yeah, I mean, they so genuinely have nothing to patience, lose. Patience, patience, little dear. Everything has to be in order. I'm pretty sure that the YouTube channel Legal Legal did something on uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Just through the other door, please. Yes, to kill you all. Come along. Ah, here we are. Oh, don't be a darn fool, Wonka. That's the way we came in. Oh, there we are. Come on, Violet. We're getting out of here. Oh, you can't get out backwards. Got to go forwards to go back. Better press on. <laughs> hey, the room is getting smaller. My dear friends, you are now about to enter the nerve center to the entire Wonka factory. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities. Now, the combination. This is a musical lock. Rock on and off. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. Living there, you'll be free. If you truly wish to be It's like such a fun candy land. If you land. want to view paradise Simply look around and view it Anything you want to do it Want to change the world There's nothing to it Eat it! Yes! What a disgusting, dirty river. It's industrial waste, that. You've ruined your watershed, Wonka. It's polluted. It's chocolate. That's chocolate! That's chocolate. 10,000 gallons an hour. And look at my waterfall. That's the most important thing. It's mixing my chocolate. It's actually churning my chocolate. You know, no other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. Up over there, across the river. They're little men. Jumping crocodile oh. sharks. The balloopers. <laughs> I never saw anybody with an orange face before. Well, they can't be real people. No, Oompa Loompas. Oompa From Loompa Land. Loompa Land? There's no such place. Excuse me, Mr. dear lady. Mr. Wonka, I am a teacher of geography. Oh, well, then you know all about it. And what a terrible country it is. <laughs> Nothing but desolate wastes and fierce beasts. And so, in the greatest of secrecy, I transported the entire population of Oompa Loompas <laughs> to my factory here. Hey, Daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. I want you to get me an Oompa Loompa right away. All right, Ruka, all right. I'll get you one before the day is out. I want an Oompa Loompa now. Can it, you nit? Augusto Sweetheart, save some room for later. Oh, oh uh, Augustus, please, don't do that. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Yeah. Please, don't do that. Don't do that. You trip him over. Trip him over. Please, I Trip him over. Trip him. Oh. My beautiful chocolate. Police. Murder. 
Quick, Johnny. <laughs> Stuck he in the is pipe, so in unfazed. He's blocking all the chocolate. Remember you once asked me how a bullet comes out of a gun? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Take Mrs. Gloop straight to the fudge room, but look sharp. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. Oompa, loompa, loompa dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. What do you get when you guzzle down sweet? Eating as much as an elephant eats. What are you at getting terribly fat? What do you think will come of that? <laughs> I don't like the look of it. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. You will live in happiness too. Like the oompa, loompa, doompa dee do. Very nice. Hey. What kind of place you running here, anyhow, Wonka? Uh, mesdames, a musical. Monsieur, maintenant, nous allons faire un petit voyage par bateau. What's he talking about? Voulez-vous entrer le Wonkatania? <laughs> Any French speakers, please let me know what he says. Wow, what a boat! Oh, looks good enough to eat. That's uh, quite a nice little canoe you've got there, Wonka. All I ask is a tall ship and a star to sailor by. All aboard, everybody! I'm so ready for the trippy boat ride. <laughs> Hang on, where are we going? I don't know, but I don't like to watch that tunnel up there. Hey, walk! I want off! Round the world and home again. That's the sailor's way. Hang on, darling. Close your eyes. Are the fires of hell a glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes, the danger must be growing for the rowers to keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. What the fuck? <laughs> small step for mankind, but a giant step for us. All ashore! Get me off this freight! Now, why don't they show stuff like that on TV? I don't know. <laughs> what a nightmare. Whipped cream? Coffee cream? Vanilla cream? Hair cream. Hair, Hair cream. cream. Now, remember, no messing about. No touching, no tasting, no telling. No telling what? You see. All of my most secret inventions are cooking and simmering in here. Mm. Old Slugworth would give his false teeth to get inside for just five minutes. <laughs> Time is a precious thing. Never waste it. He's absolutely bonkers. He is bonkers. <laughs> What's that for? Gives it a little kick. <laughs> <laughs> no! Don't! Please! Forgive me, but no one must look under there. This is the most secret machine in my mm. entire factory. Is it the everlasting gobstopper? Sizzle old slugworth. What's mm -hmm. it do? Would you like to see? <laughs> ah, the meme. Can't you see? It makes everlasting gobstoppers. Did you say mm -hmm. everlasting gobstoppers? That's right. For children with very little pocket money. You can suck them forever. I can only give them to you if you solemnly swear to keep them for yourselves and never show them to another mm -hmm. living soul as long as you all shall live. Agreed? Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Good. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Yeah, hey, what about Charlie? And one for Charlie. If you'll follow me, I have something rather special to show you. Well, it's special, all right. The creation of a confectionery giant. Aw, honeybees. That was not honey coming out of that. Oh. Finito. That's all. That's all? Don't you know what this is? What is it? 
wrong. It's the most amazing, fabulous, sensational gum in the whole world. What's so fab about it? This little piece of gum is a three-course dinner. Bull. No, roast beef, but I haven't got it quite right yet. I don't care. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I really wouldn't. So long as it's gum, then that's for me. Violet, no. I stupid. <gasps> What's it taste like? Fabulous. It's tomato soup. Stop. Don't. Why doesn't she listen to <laughs> Every time he tries to tell them no, he really doesn't give that much of an F about it. Like, he's like, stop, don't. Like, it's the most unconvincing, and I love it. <laughs> oh, I like that she's already turning, turning violet. Holy Toledo, what's happening to your face? Cool it, Dad, let me finish. Yeah, but your face is turning blue. I told you I hadn't got it quite right yet. You can say yeah. that again. Look, it's under my kid. <laughs> Always goes wrong when we come to the dessert. Violet, what are you doing now? You're yep. blowing up. I feel funny. I'm not surprised. What's happening? You're blowing up like a balloon. Like a blueberry. No <laughs> fucks. No fucks quick. whatsoever. Hmm? That's juice. Juice? Would She's you roll the young lady juice. down to the juicing room at once, please? What for? It's filling up with squeezing. Juice. She has to be squeezed immediately before she explodes. Explodes? Oh my it's a God. fairly simple operation. Hi, Violet. That's the last thing I ever do. I got a blueberry for a daughter. Very <laughs> fancy bread. He Shall really does on? just sound like a lunatic <laughs> during so much of this movie. I well, love it. Well, well, two naughty, nasty little children gone. Three good, sweet little children left. Bubbles, mm. bubbles everywhere, mm -hmm. but not a drop to drink. Yet. What's it making, Mr. Wonka? Fizzy lifting drinks. They fill you with gas, and the gas is so terrifically lifting that it lifts you right off the ground like a balloon. Mm. Oh, isn't it high? Gosh! But I daren't sell it yet. It's still too powerful. Oh, come, come on, let's, let's try some, please. No, 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 absolutely not. There'd be children floating around all over the place. Come yep. along now, don't hang about. Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. This is the part oh, where I'll go with Grandpa Joe. Oh. I'm like, why you gotta be like that? You're just as naughty as the other kids. He told you not to. Mr. Wonka told you not to. Mm, not bad. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel terribly strange. Hey, it's fun, Grandpa. It works. Come on in. The air's fine. Oh, I'm a bird. I'm a plane. I'm going to hide. You're in trouble, Charlie. I can't stop. It's pulling me in. I can't stop. I can't stop. What do I do? Help! 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 Mr. Walker, please turn off the fan. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm going down. Great, Charlie. Burp, burp. Burp, Charlie. Burp, boy. You got to burp, Charlie. It's the only way. Had a boy. Burp again. Had a boy. Come on. This is just so cute. Good boy. Come on. Let's get up to the others. These are the geese that lay the golden eggs. As you can see, they're larger than ordinary geese. They're laying overtime right now for Easter. But Easter's over! They don't know that. I'm trying to get ahead for next year. An omelette fit for a king, sir. Hmm. Are they chocolate eggs? Golden chocolate eggs. That's a great delicacy. But I wouldn't get too close. The geese are very temperamental. That's why we have the egg decay. Egg the what? The egg decay. If it's a good the egg, egg or a bad egg. You can tell egg. the difference between a good egg and a bad egg. If it's a good egg, it shined up and shipped out all over the world. Hey, Daddy, I want a golden goose. Here we go again. How much do you want for the golden goose? They're not for sale. Name your price. She can't have one. Who says I can't? I do. A funny hat. I want one. I want a golden goose. And if I don't get the things I am after, I'm going to... My gosh. Don't. Yep. Oh. Where's she gone? Where all the other bad eggs go? Down the garbage chute. Veruca! Sweetheart! Daddy's coming! They're also bad. There's gonna be a lot of garbage today. Dang! Oh, finally got what he wanted. What's that? Veruca went first. Mr. Wonka, they won't be going to go first, will they? Hmm. Well, I think that furnace is lit only every other day. So they have a good sporting chance, haven't they? Well, they're going fast. You think Slavos would pay extra to know about this? 
Keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Everybody set? Is this gonna go fast, Grandpa? It's true, Charlie. It's got more gas in it than a politician. Now hold on tight. I'm gonna really open oh, up this time. And that's great. Oh, Where so much go? bubble. Stronger than lions! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's so much bubbles! Through. Hasha Lakano. Is that Japanese? No, that's Wonka Wash spelled backwards. Uh. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the journey is over. If the good Lord had intended us to walk, he wouldn't have invented roller skates. Now, would you all please put these on? Everything he said is random. There's dangerous stuff inside. Wonka Vision, my very latest mm. and greatest invention. VR. It's television. <laughs> uh, it's Wonka Vision. I shall now send this chocolate bar from one end of the room to the other. It has to be big because whenever you transmit something by television, it always ends up smaller on the other end. Camera, action! Nice. Where's the chocolate? It's flying over our heads in a million pieces. Now watch the screen. Here it comes. There it is. Take it. How can you take it? It's just a picture. All right, you take it. Mm. It's nice. real. Taste it. It's delicious. It's just gotten smaller, that's all. Mr. Wonka, can you send other things? Not just chocolate, I mean. Anything you like. What about people? People? Hmm. I don't really know. But it might have some messy results. Look at me! I'm going to be the first person in the world to be sent by television! No! Stop, don't. Come back. Oh, and he's done. Where are you? Mm, yeah, that makes sense. There's definitely something coming through. Is it night? Well, it's hard to tell, but I... Oh! Oh, little group is getting smaller by the minute. Look at me, everybody. I'm the first person in the world to be sent by television. Oh, my God. He's completely unharmed. You call that unharmed? Nobody's going to hear about this. Where well, you taking me? I don't want to go in there. Be quiet. Well... Well, fortunately, small boys are extremely springy and elastic, so I think we'll put them in my special taffy pulling machine. That should do the trick. You'll find the boy in his mother's purse, but be extremely careful. What's he saying? No, no, I won't hold you responsible. And now, my dearest lady, it's time to say goodbye. They all just want to know, like, wait, am I liable for this? No, no, you're not. Yay! What happened to the other kids? Augustus, Veruca. My dear boy, I promise you they'll be quite all right. When they leave here, they'll be completely restored to their normal, terrible old selves. Maybe they'll be a little bit wiser for the wear. Yeah, what do we do now, Mr. Wonka? Oh, Go yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Oh. Excuse me for not showing you out. Straight up the stairs. You'll find the way. I'm terribly busy. Whole day wasted. Goodbye to you both. Goodbye. Oh. What happened? Did we do something wrong? Yes. I don't know, Charles. You shouldn't have drank the soda. But I'm going to find out. Mr. Wonka? I am extraordinarily busy, sir. I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. The lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. When does he get it? He yeah. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, Wrong sir. <laughs> I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses, hearing and hearing contained, etc., etc. Fax mentis incendium gloria culpum, etc., etc. Memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. Slugworth wants a gobstopper. He'll get one. Mm. Charlie's good-natured heart. 
Mr. Wonka. Mm. Charlie. My boy. Mm. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Aww. Oh, Charlie. Mm. I had to test you, Charlie. And you passed the test. You won! Well, Yay! The jackpot, my dear sir, the grand and glorious jackpot. The chocolate? The chocolate, yes, the chocolate. But that's just the beginning. We have to get on, we have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. Strike that. Reverse it. <laughs> this way, please. Please. Grandpa Jones, sir. Mm. This is the great glass Wonkavator. Yes. It's an elevator. It's a Wonkavator. It can take you to any room in the whole factory just by pressing one of these buttons. Any of these buttons. Just press a button and sing. You're off. And up until now, I've pressed them all. Hmm. Except one. This one. Go ahead, Charlie. Me? Okay. There it goes. Hold on tight. Here it comes. Up and up. Hey. Oh. You did it, Mr. Wonka. Congratulations. Get up. Take a look. Grandpa, our town looks so pretty from up here. Yeah, look over here, Charlie. I think I see our house. Wow. It really looks beautiful. How did you like the chocolate factory, Charlie? I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm very mm. pleased to hear you say that. Because I'm giving it to you. It's all right, isn't it? You're giving Charlie the... I can't go on forever. And I don't really want to try. So who can I trust to run the factory when I leave and take care of the Oompa Loompas for me? Not a grown-up. A grown-up mm -hmm. would want to do everything his own way, not mine. That's why I decided a long time ago that I had to find a child. A very honest, mm -hmm. loving child to whom mm -hmm. I can tell all my most precious candy-making secrets. And that's why you sent out the golden tickets. That's right. So the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. And me? Absolutely. What happens to the, the rest of the whole family? Mm. I want you to bring them all. No. Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. <laughs> Aww. I'm not gonna think about the logic. I'm just gonna enjoy the wholesomeness. Cause it's wholesome! Alrighty guys, that was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That was so great. I love the wacky, whimsical nature of this movie. Gene Wilder is brilliant in this and everyone else does such a lovely job. I had a genuinely fun time with this and I hope that you guys did too. If y'all wanna check out any more of my reactions, you can click over here or over here to keep on watching any more videos. It means the world and it helps support. If you guys wanna continue on and check out some of my full links, you can click on the links down below for my Patreon. And with all of that, just remember that I wish you guys guys love joy happiness and all the wonderful things in life i wish that for you and i will see you guys on next time take care and bye bye